Film is an art form that benefits greatly from experience and a creative vision, something you usually acquire over many years of education and practice in the craft. But Merrimack High School senior and rising star director, Ross Corman O'Reilly, has had a pretty big head start. Well, I've always loved movies, but I'd say that when I first got involved in making movies, I did like these little like iMovie trailers on my phone in like middle school of just my family driving, which was probably pretty bad content, and they probably found it pretty annoying, but I did it anyway. And uh, I've just grown from there, and I just love making movies. It's, it's very creative and hands-on, and you get an incredible reward after all your hard work. We got to know Ross while covering the choir program Celebration of Song, and while he didn't direct that performance, he has directed many short films during his time in high school. Daddy, Daddy, look, I can write all by myself now. To be honest, I'm a very bad control freak, and I have to have it my way. So as a director, you're really the guy that gets to call all the shots and be that guy that everyone looks to, to sort of tell them, go operate camera C, go fetch the audio reels from take two, you know? So I really like just bossing people around. <laughs> as you can tell, he's got a sense of humor. That carries over to his other pursuits as well. He's also part of the band program, and you might remember when he was savagely attacked by a killer tomato at the Cavalcade of Bands last year. While Ross is a great team player, he's not afraid to step into the limelight either. That's helped him get noticed by his contemporaries at the New Hampshire High School Film Festival, who asked him to create a short movie about the festival's rules. But more than that, his skills have caught the eye of Chapman University, who accepted him after watching Beneath, his application film about a man having to make a very difficult decision that told a story without any dialogue. <laughs> The plan is to get there, hopefully make some friends, and then just, you know, see where that takes. I'm going to make lots of films, hopefully in college, try lots of new things. It's probably going to be very stressful and very overwhelming, and I'll probably break down and cry at least four times every day. But I think that that's, that's necessary because you must be broken down before you're built back up. Despite that dramatic monologue, you can tell Ross hasn't lost any enthusiasm for the craft. And the reason for that is simple. It's not about him. I'm just one guy. The audience is like, I mean, hopefully at least 100 people. I mean, I'm, start, I'm not like selling out theaters here. I mean, that's a big dream of mine. But like, even if the audience was just like three people, that's, I still want them to have a great time. I don't care if I, I hate the movie that I, I made. The fact that my film can make someone else feel an emotion is crazy. You can join that audience by watching his films on his YouTube channel, Utopia Films. It's a good idea to get familiar with seeing directed by Ross Corman O'Reilly in the end credits. After all, in a couple years, you'll be seeing it on a much bigger screen. Thank you for watching.